There are 78 checks in all, drawn on the operating account of the Belize Airports Authority. Several of them are made out directly to Edmond Castro, some to family members, and others to fund his political causes, like educational grants, his cycling team, paying for his political constituency bashes, that sort of thing. Yet, the BAA is standing by its minister all the way. I think that when you look at the quantum of the checks and you carefully analyze them, I think you would be able to come to a different conclusion. I certainly do not think that the allegation that suggests that Minister Castro benefited directly or indirectly from all those checks, I, I think that's totally not true. Contrary to Garbutt's assertion, there is evidence that Minister of State Castro benefited both directly and indirectly, financially and politically, from the use of funds from the BAA's operating account. Another check for $4,000 was given to him to assist with funeral expenses for his, for his mother. And, uh, you know, frankly, Mr. Rodonai, we considered carefully that request. Anyone who has been around Minister Castro recognizes the amount of money that he puts in to every debt related to people having to do with him in his constituency. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, certainly in providing that assistance to him, what I as a member of the board look at was an opportunity to know provide some assistance to a minister who has helped his entire constituency. He has 27 communities, and we know that all those people wanted to go to pay their respect to him on the death of his mother. And so we felt that if we could assist in that, um, we would, and we did. Not all the 78 checks can be linked to Castro. Some of them are for genuine BAA expenses. That's about the only thing the BAA can hold on to at this point. Take these checks to Boeing and Boeing, for example. The BAA provides activities, provides sponsorship for activities to assist with events. Some of those events may have been held in the constituency. We have had events of our own. So when we feel that it is something we can afford, we look carefully at it and we provide the support. And these in particular, you couldn't tell me right off. I know it's some time ago. You couldn't tell me right off if these were, were political events. At the end of 2013, end of 2012, and then there's one for Caribbean chicken. If, I, if you notice those checks, one of them to Boeing and Boeing was made close to Christmas time. Mm -hmm and we provided support for activities in regards to celebration for Christmas in those communities. And the other one was around independence time and we provided support for that. Two political functions hosted by Minister Castro. If you call independence day political, I mean everybody in Belize support, um, support independence. If you are telling me that only political people were at these things, I mean I can, I, I, I can respect your opinion. I don't agree. With that, we felt that we were contributing to activities for both events in these communities. So in the end, it boils down to this. The BAA does not agree that it did anything wrong. To give the idea that all these checks issued in all these names was issued with the idea of benefiting Minister Castro is not only ludicrous, it seems almost malicious. But the statutory body has decided to suspend its entire assistance program. We looked at these circumstances when they arose and we made the decision that we thought was the best decision to make at that time. Certainly, some of them we would not make if we were to be faced with them again. We believe that we must continue as an entity in this country to provide social assistance. But quite frankly, 
there are some things that we will definitely not do again. As a matter of fact, we have suspended under evaluating the entire process of providing assistance. Garbot says that no member of the board feels that they were involved in any way in corruption. Mike Rodon for News 5.